Alright, what is going on today, guys? Today I am with Jameson. Hey. Today we're going to visit uh, my buddy Matt's, one of him at one of his job sites. He's doing a, he's doing a demo, he's tearing down uh, some kind of big building. So we're gonna go there and get some footage of his equipment and uh, some equipment working, and uh, yeah, it's uh, gonna be a good day. Alright, we'll see you guys there. Here with Matt. Matt. How's it going? How long have you been with Advanced Wall Structure? Uh, since I was in the sandbox as a kid. <laughs> so many years? Long time. So it's your dad that actually owns it and that started it? Yep. They started the company in 92. Um, I mean, I've been in a sandbox or a skid steer since I was seven, eight years old. Nice, nice. And, so what, uh, what do you guys mostly do? Like, what's your bread and butter? Uh, bread and butter is, uh, I'd have to say now, it's mostly the boulder, the boulder walls that we do. Okay. Um, it's kind of our specialty. No one else really does retaining walls that big with boulders. Uh, so we're kind of the people that are known for that around here, yeah. What do you got going on here? What kind of building is this? So this is an old horse barn and horse arena. There was 40 horse stalls here and it was quite the quite the event out here back in the day. Um, but this this lot out here is going to get uh, developed for 17 home lots. And so the whole barn had to come down. And that's what we're doing now.
days? Uh, we started Monday. Um, we're kind of working against a timeline because Eden Prairie has road restrictions that go on Monday and they are on for two months basically. So we're trying to get all the heavier stuff out of here, get the heavy trucks out of here, get our uh, construction entrance in, and then uh, we'll probably come back after the road restrictions and peel up all the asphalt and concrete and stuff. How many dumpsters out of here so far? So the house that I demoed in the front, that was 13. And uh, I mean, how many do we have today so far? There's, there's five sitting here at any time and they, they come as they can to come and switch them up for us once they're full. Uh, I just filled uh, two 30 yard dumpsters full of wood and insulation and stuff like that. And then we've got other dumpsters just for the, the tin, stuff that we've recycled. You guys run all, uh, all Doosan excavators? <laughs> yeah, we uh, we switched from case and, uh, well, it was, we ran all case equipment until 2011. Um, the dealer got bought out and we just didn't like the service anymore. And uh, my dad had bought a Bobcat back in like the 90s and uh, our salesman from Doosan and Bobcat made me demo one and I really liked it. And now we've got seven of them. <laughs> So overall good machines, reliable, good service. Great machines, lots of power. My dealer, I mean dealers, everything. Uh, Lano equipment, they take really good care of us. I know everyone there, like family, all the mechanics, everything. I can go in there and talk to anybody. So yeah, that's good. I like that. Yeah, most definitely. How do you like your, uh, your totem grapples? I love my totem grapples. I'd actually probably argue with someone in person about them being the best rock grapples there are. Um, but that just gets into the nitty gritty of things and kind of how we want to operate our business. We don't like being down and I like being able to manipulate the rocks without stuff listing and it's got, they've got two motors. So if you've got the ability to move the rock um, with the machine, you should be able to get it there. And just about, just about anything you can get around those uh, like the grapple, it'll pick it up. Yeah. Um, this machine here can pick up about 11 ton. And uh, I've picked up rocks that it, everything it had, and they're heavy. They how, were, uh, how many square feet in boulder walls did you put in last year in 2019? 
Uh, I honestly, I don't really keep track. Um, I'd probably say 70, 80,000 square feet of boulders. And then we do sound walls and uh, block walls as well. Big block, keystone, anchor, diamond, all of it. So, yeah. Fun stuff. Do you, uh, you enjoy what you do? I love what I do. 10 days out of 10? Uh, 10 days out of 10, except for when something breaks Monday morning right away, you know. Uh, you have that where you piece of frost goes through a windshield first thing Monday morning you freeze your butt off the rest of the day but it happens um, how many windshields have you broke <laughs> um well with rocks some I mean sometimes they slip out so it's you get rock chips flying at you and I've got a spare window for every piece of equipment we have because I like uh, I like my window tint yeah well what uh, these all look pretty pretty blacked out what percent tint do you got on all of them um well, so the tint thing, I've got really sensitive eyes, so it started out as me just tinting my, my own machine. And then everyone else kind of seemed to like it. My dad goes, oh, that's nice sitting in there. So now when we buy a new piece of equipment, I tint everything 5%. Um, and then the windshield is like 18. And then, so this is the oldest 235. Um, but my new machine has double five on the sides and back. And then we just got the, I put those LED light bars on after the fact and kind of set, set the machine up how I want. Those, yeah, those are bunny burners. Yeah, the bunny burners. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, everyone always talks about the tint and it's like, well, you can't see out of there. It's, it gets rid of my operator fatigue and I can sit in there for 12 hours a day and that happens quite a bit. So. Yeah, aren't you known for uh, working late sometimes? Like, how late were you out here working yesterday? Uh, well those light bars I've been on job sites until past midnight um, my dad and I that's that happens all the time but uh, try to keep it respectable try to cut it off by seven you know neighbors don't get too angry that way yeah right. or you get you don't get the police showing up <laughs> right <laughs> yeah well thanks for uh, having us out today I appreciate it yeah no problem this is awesome I really like having you guys out here Thanks so much guys for all the support lately. Big thanks to Matt at Advanced Wall Structures for having us out today. And remember, in order to get results that no one else is getting, you must do things that no one else is doing. For instance, messaging people on Instagram, going out to their sites, checking them out, checking their equipment out, learning from people that have been in the industry longer than you, that know more than you, learning off of them and uh, growing together. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and appreciate it if you would share this video as well. Thanks again for watching and make it a great day.